Hey everybody, welcome to my first hair tutorial. I just finished doing it, it turned out great. Um, I'm really excited to do these more often and I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys more. You'll get to see me looking like a monster doing my hair. <laughs> but I'm really excited about this and um, I wanted to let you know this is a very elegant hairstyle. It's something you'll do for a special occasion. It's not your everyday hairstyle. My hair is about six inches above my knees, so it's really long. Um, so I hope this helps you if you have long hair. If your hair is medium or to your back, whatever length it is, you can use this technique in curling your hair. Um, it also is a great technique to use period when you um, are curling maybe just your ends to put them up or just the, the crown of your head. Um, I'd love to help you in any way I can. I'm going to show you some of the products I use, some of my favorites. I just finished doing my hair, but it's a mess. But um, some of the oils that I use. Um, and like I said, I have really long hair, so I do struggle to find long hair tutorials. But I want to give you more options and more ways to curl your hair. I've been doing my hair forever and eternity, so I've had a lot of practice. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Um, so let's hop on into the hair tutorial and I will talk with you soon. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the products that I'll be using today. The first one's Aussie, Aussie Freeze It Spray and um, I love this because it holds your hair. It's not too um, heavy but it still holds your hair really nicely. Now I don't use this the whole time I'm fixing my hair. I only use this at the end. Um, to spray the curls and then in the beginning when I actually curl the curls. So um, um, for this hairstyle I'll probably use it the most because there's not I'm not pinning up my hair or anything like that but if I was to pin up my hair and style it then I would use this in between um, because this is just a good holding spray but it's not like glue like this is spray glue um, but this is a really good light um, but it actually is extra hold number four Tresemme um, and I love this just when I'm styling my hair up or whatever. So these are the two hairsprays that I use. Um, and then the bobby pins I use, I don't have the actual case, but they're from Sally's. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but um, this is, um, it comes like, I think it's $5 for this and it's pretty full. Um, these last forever, literally. Unless you lose them, they will probably last you your lifetime in both life. Um, I love these because they hold your hair. My hair is super long. Um, it's about six inches for my knees, and so I need something to hold my hair up. I can do a bun with these, and I'll just use, probably use one to two, that's it. So I love these, um, and they're, again, from Sally's Beauty Supply, and if you don't have a Sally's Beauty Supply, then you can order them online and use promo codes and all that. Um, and so this is in case your hair um, is a little bit frizzy you can run this through your hair before you curl it it's the Tresemme Keratin Smooth um, it's a smoothing serum and I love it it smells so good and um, it works really good if you have a little bit extra frizz in your hair before you curl it to get it a, to have a more smoother look um, and then the curling iron I'm using is one of the cheap ones from Walmart I've used it forever as you can tell it's had a lot of love um, it still works wonderful I think it's like $13 to $15, it's the Cunar um, one inch curling iron. And I also use this as my wand too. Um, I do have a couple other curling irons that I'll show in different hair tutorials. I do switch them up some, but this is the main one I use the most. So, um, and it's the Instant Heat Cunar, that's all I know. It's just the cheap one and then it has the little options at the bottom for heat. So. The last thing I wanted to recommend to you guys is this book. I just recently rediscovered this book. Um, someone get, gave it to me and I love it. If you are just starting to do your hair, maybe you're just getting um, acquainted with hairstyles and um, the way you know I do my hair or whoever, whatever. But um, this is a really good book to um, get. It's called Pro Hair Care. Salon Secrets for the Professionals of the Professionals, and it's by Sheraton Ward or Alexandra Friend. So um, it just goes through how you curl your hair, what kind of products you use, how much product you use. There is a few hairstyles. Um, they're not for very long hair, unfortunately, but I just like how it shows you like the basics of styling your hair, drying your hair, parts, 
it's a really awesome book so I'm not sure where you can get it I'll try and link it below um, but I had someone give it to me and I love it so anyways we'll get started this hairstyle um, as you know I've already talked about it <laughs> um, I love it and it's perfect for an elegant event or um, to start your hair to start styling it so I'm just gonna hop on in and start um, curling my hair so what I do is I'm about to look like a monster and um, that's okay but I part my hair so what I do is this is my part my natural part where I always part my hair um, I, I take about one two about three inches over go back and then about an inch over from the part the pretty much the top of your hair go back about four inches and then do a little square so that's how I section off my hair and as I told you my hair is super long it's about four inches from my knees it's not very thick um, as you can see those are my ends so it's not very thick um, but I've been doing it for a very long time I've had a lot of practice so you kind of just twist this up again I'm about to look like a monster um, I just kind of Water it up, get it out of the way, and then pin it. Woo, so pretty. Okay, and then I actually keep my bobby pins in a soap box. <laughs> it works perfect, it's like the perfect size. But, and then I have the rest of my hair out, and I kind of just um, pull it to one side and then start curling. So I grab a piece like about this big. I don't know, I don't know what the measurements would be because by the time you get to the, my end, the end of my hair, it's like five hairs. But at the top, it's probably about a fourth of an inch thick. Um, just enough to curl it. You don't want to have too thick of a curl because then it won't stay and it won't really curl. But you don't want to have too thin, otherwise you're gonna have tight and you'll see um, really tight curls. So then I'm gonna use Aussie Freeze It to Spray. I just spray it going down. This is what holds your curl and makes it really shiny and smooth and it looks really healthy, I think. So then um, you just curl it starting from the bottom. It's hard for me to do this sitting down because I always do my hair standing up, but um, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. So um, feel free to comment below with some of the hairstyles you would like to see from me. Um, I'm happy to show you as many as I can. They do take a little while, but I plan to do them more often. Um, I plan to schedule them in just like I would do work because I know you guys have requested them. <clears throat> and they're really needed because you don't find a lot of hair tutorials that are for long hair. So I know I even go on YouTube sometimes and I can't find exactly what I'm looking for so you have to kind of get creative okay so then you take it out and what I do is I kind of just grab the end keep it in that curl lift it up and then there's your first curl like we said earlier we're gonna set them so they stay longer so what I use you can buy professional clips to set your hair oh my goodness I know I look crazy right now but you can buy professional clips, but I just use these bobby pins because I already have them and I don't have to track them down just to set my hair. I use them all the time. So there's the first curl. And then this is a little too thick, so I'm gonna put some of it back. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray again. You really wanna get the ends sprayed because that's where you're gonna want the most curl to stay. Curl it from the bottom. Sorry, can you see the curl from the bottom? All right. I wanna make sure you see how I do. I just take the comb iron all the way to the bottom of the piece. And I'll do one more and try and get it in the camera for you. I'm not used to doing it against the camera. But <clears throat> let it stay for maybe I don't know, it, it depends. If I'm in a hurry, I don't let it stay for very long, but if I have time, I'll let it stay. So probably 15 seconds. Again, my hair is very long, so a lot of people say, oh, I can never curl my hair down. But you really can't. It's not, you just have to divide it and um, 
section it off. So I took it right off the curl and iron, kept it in kind of a ringlet. And now I'm gonna roll that up back in kind of the shape it was on the curl and iron. Okay. The first time you do this, it might feel really awkward and not quick, but I've done it so many times that I don't think about it. And honestly, if you're just starting to fix your hair, the more you fix it, the more practice you have, the easier it'll get. Um, I know like a lot of our youth girls at our church, they're just getting into fixing their hair. And seriously, you can tell the difference. The more practice they, they put into it, the better they'll get. It's really exciting because we're supposed to take care of our glory. So, and I didn't show you that one. Okay, so anyways, I just twisted it up. Sorry. I'll show you the next one. And then we'll speed through it because I, really, I know you don't want to watch me curl my hair all day long. Okay, hold it in, it doesn't have to be perfect. The nice thing about this hairstyle is when you take the curls out, you actually make them a little messy, so they don't need to be perfect when you lift. You don't really want that anyways. Um, I can't really think of any hairstyles where you would want like the perfect curl staying in there. That's nice, there's no pressure. Okay, take it out. Okay, watch how I do this. So I take it out a little bit, get to the bottom. Okay, there's the bottom-ish. I take that whole set of curls, those about three more rings. Roll it up, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> I think my fingertips are used to doing hair. Um, roll, keep rolling like you're curling it on your hand. And then pin. All the way through. Ta-da, okay. So last one, I'm just gonna show you the bottom of it and then we'll speed through it. We're almost halfway done too, so. Well, this part. Okay. Okay, here's how I do it. So just take the curling iron on the end. End of my hair, everything. And then, Um, I don't roll all the way up the curl iron, all the way back down, all the way back up, all the way back down. I try and keep them layered on top of each other because I haven't even went back up yet. Um, just because I like, I think it, if you if you pull your, your curl across the curl and iron, it makes it a longer, um, straighter curl. But if you keep your curls, I don't know if I'm making sense, but if, when you're curling your hair, if you keep the hair close together on the curl iron, you can even layer it some as you're going down. It'll give you a more bouncy curl. It really does make a difference how you use your curl and iron um, and what curl you get. Especially when doing it from the bottom up. If you use your curl iron like a wand, then it's different. Um, but this way, it's really important that you just layer as you're going down the rod. So I started this in and just keep playing. Okay, so I just took the top part down, and I did my part. I just carry that part. Normally my part stops right there, but I just carried it all the way back, so it's kind of even when you curl it. Um, so we're just gonna curl two pieces over here. I lost my hairspray. There it is. Okay, so spray it all the way down. This is the front, so we have to make sure it's right. Well, the back's right too, but it's more important. Then curl it up. Doesn't matter how you curl it. I've seen a lot of hair tutorials where they curl back and forth ways. Um, I think that's more important if you're wanding it. But with this, it's pretty loose in the top, so. Side. Um, a couple things I forgot to tell you is when you spray your hair, 
You'll notice I'll spray and then run my hand down the string, like pretty tight. That's just to get all the frizzies together. Otherwise, if you spray it, you're gonna have a spread of hair. <laughs> you don't want that. Um, the other thing is, on the top, what I do that's different from the back is that I roll all the way to the top. So that way you have a, a layer of curls at the, the top, like the um, top of the curls aren't very curly right here, but the ends are really curly. And then the top, that adds more volume. So when you set it up on top of your head like that, that really helps. Um, you could roll these all the way up to the, to the top of your head, but I don't know. Um, I like it being straight underneath because it's not as out here. Um, this gives me like flat and then the curls on top, but if you like big hair, you could roll it all the way to the top and that would help. So now I'm going to start, um, I part, I, I take this section and part it in half. So let me get this, this section back up really quick. So, um, I'm going to take this and divide it into three sections. Um, I like more curl on the top, so I try to take my time with the top. I kind of rush through the bottom. Um, so, let's spray. Watch how I do this. Spray. Spray. It's not going to be perfect. Just run your hand through it. Put all the hair together. Then curl. Spraying your hair before you curl, it helps to keep the curl in. Now, if you take the hairspray on there, um, if your hair doesn't hold curl well, it will actually lay your hair down and uh, the curl will fall out easier. So, my hair though, I know my texture, I know what I can do, and I spray it just enough to where it'll keep the curl in, but it's not weighed down. I did want to mention too, I straightened my hair a little bit because my hair is naturally frizzy, not curly, and so therefore I had to um, straighten it a little bit. But I just straightened it enough to take a lot of the frizz away. So that is an option if your hair is a little frizzy. You can always straighten it before you do this. Okay, again, same process. I'm just fast forward through this. Now we have the last piece. This part's really important how you divide it because it's going to be how your curl lays. So um, a lot of times I'll just divide like the right section and then, well it's my right, um, and then I take these two pieces and do a front and a back. Does that make sense? So we have the right, the back, and the front. So I'm going to curl these really quick pins in my head. Okay. Um, I look crazy again. Um, I'm going to let it set up for about 20 minutes and then I'll take it out and style it. Um, this hairstyle doesn't normally take this long but I'm just not in my comfort zone doing my hair. So um, I'm normally in my bathroom so um, it's just there's not good lighting up there. So anyways, you this is a special occasion hairstyle though. This isn't your everyday hairstyle um, but it will definitely turn out beautiful. You can find ways to um, make it work easier for you. But anyways, I'm going to let this set up and then I'll come back and talk when I start taking it out. So. Hi everybody, we're back. My hair is um, cooled down and set up. So I'm going to start taking out bobby pins. That's all you have to do. Literally just take it out and let it fall. Woo! Bouncy. I love bouncy curls. Okay. Take it out. Let it fall. Problems, you can help it out. Sometimes they get tangled up. There we go. Um, almost there. You can see once you get your hair curled, <clears throat> it doesn't take long at all to style it. You leave it, the longer you leave it in, the curlier and longer it'll stay. Um, the other day I did, which was where a lot of people requested, 
tutorial, I did a live with my hair curl like this. And I left it in for like an hour. And the curls were amazing. Um, just because I was so busy working, I didn't really have time to fix it before. Plus, I wanted to do it right before I went on the live. So I actually went down to work and everything with my hair like that. So, um, what I do next is I kind of just, I should have done this as I was taking them down, but pull them apart, spray them, pull apart. You can kind of see they're already not perfect, which I like that. I don't like perfect curls. What I mean by perfect is like, they look the shape of a curling arm exactly all the way down from top to bottom. Okay, so I just, what I do is I just pull them apart. I don't separate them. Like, you do not want to separate your curls. Um, I remember hot stick days. That was like the thing. How many curls could you get out of one hot stick? But, um, you just want to pull them apart a little bit, give it volume. Normally, I would put this in the back and spray it because I really do it in the back of my hair. Okay, let's just try that. Okay, and then this side I'm gonna pull apart a little bit. Um, a lot of people have told me when they're fixing when I'm fixing their hair or fixing my own hair, they'll watch me and say, You're really um, you treat your curls like they're fragile almost. And they really are. I'm very I try to be very delicate and easy on my hair, especially when curling it. Even when I brush it out or when I am straightening it anything I do I try to be easy on my hair so I feel like it helps keep it and I have a ton of baby hairs too so okay so then if you want to pull up some volume in the top depending on the occasion Ooh, lots of curls I love it Okay, so I'm sorry if I have a lot of hair on my face. I can't see the mirrors like way over there, but I'm gonna grab all the flyaways. Again, I use this Aussie from top to bottom with this hairstyle just because um, it helps keep the whole, it helps hold it and I'm not really styling it. If I was actually using bobby pins and styling it up, I would use it, trust me. But there we go, it's pretty much done and it. I don't know what the back looks like, but hopefully it looks good. And that's, it's really easy, a really easy way to color your hair. Make sure you grab the bottoms too and spray them up. Again, the longer you let it set, like you might do it for a sunny night, start it about two hours for it to leave, let it sit in for an hour. Um, you can do a lot with these curls, which I'm going to give you more tutorials with you doing your hair up with these curls. So this is this tutorial. I'm glad you watched it. Um, subscribe below, share, comment, whatever. Um, let me know more ideas that you wanna see, more updos, downs. Um, I'd love to help you in any way I can with your long, beautiful hair. And it really is, um, it really is power on your head. Um, but I am excited about these hair tutorials. I hope to do more. Again, like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.